now in this presentation we are going to find out the logical expression for your sum and the logical expression for your output carry so that if you want to make an adder circuit you can make it this box you can see here is your full adder and uh, what is inside this box actually the combination of your logic gates we don't know and uh, you can see that that a b and c input are the three inputs to this full adder and the sum and your carry output are the two outputs of your full adder okay so how we are going to find out the logical expression or you can say that the combination of the gate inside this box we will do it by using the Carnot map so I have already made the table for your inputs that is a b and c i and depending upon this input and uh, by using the concept of addition we will try to find out the sum and the output carry very easy I hope you have followed my presentations so that um, you know how to add the binary numbers we are going to add a b and c i to get the sum and the carry output so in your first case both a b is 0 and also the carry input is 0 so the sum is definitely going to be 0 and also there is no carry output so it is also 0 now a plus b 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 so sum is 1 and there is no carry generated so the carry output is 0 so in our third case a is 0 b is 1 so a plus b 0 plus 1 is your 1 and 1 plus 0 gives you 1 so again sum is 1 but the carry output is 0 in our fourth case a is 0 b is 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 the carry input is 1 so 1 plus 1 sum is 0 and there is 1 carry now most of you might be thinking that how this thing is possible 1 plus 1 is 0 and with 1 carry so let's see it here actually this is an extra work that I am doing right now because uh, in my one of the lectures I have completed this thing in a great detail so it is recommended to you to go to that lecture from the playlist but if you don't want to do that then let's see it here let's take a decimal number 7 and add it with another decimal number 6 so you are very good in these things the decimal addition 7 plus 6 gives you what 13 so you write 3 here and and the gifts carry 1 and of course here it is 0 and also 0 7 is there so carry is 1 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 gives you 1 so you say that the result is 13 so did you ever thought that why we took this 1 as a carry and just placed it here it is because that in decimal the base the base is represented by r the radix is same thing and r is your 10 okay so in decimal the base is 10 and whenever you complete a base in the addition you just you just put forward the one and keep the remaining thing for example in 7 plus 6 we are having 13 we know it is 13 and 13 can be written as 10 plus 3 so 10 is the base so we just added 1 at the next weight actually it is all dependent on the weight they are all weighted codes so we put 1 here and the 3 we keep and that is why we do this thing in the binary because when you add 1 1 then what actually happens 1 1 is what 2 2 and in binary the base is 2 so 2 can be written as 2 plus 0 so we will put a carry here and we will make the result 0 we will keep the result 0 like we kept 3 here so you just remember that we want to make the base and uh, the rest number we will keep and whatever the base we will put forward it as the carry so we will keep 0 and 1 as the carry so the carry output is 1 and the sum is equal to what 0 so that's why we did it here actually it's all dependent upon the weighted codes so it, it, it will be much better if I explain you by taking the weight of the corresponding positions but uh, it will be really out of scope of this presentation because I have to complete this presentation in the limited time the full adder circuit part and I cannot explain you this 
addition of the binary numbers for that go to the playlist and in that search the binary addition you will be very you will find it very easy to understand so let's move to our circuit part now in our this case the fifth case a is 1 b is 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 and c i is 0 so 1 plus 0 is again 1 sum is 1 and carry is going to be carry output is going to be 0 in this case 1 plus 0 gives you 1 let's do it 1 plus 0 gives you 1 and 1 plus 1 gives you 0 so the sum is 0 but the carry is 1 like this case in this 1 plus 1 gives you 0 and carries 1 and 0 plus 0 gives you 0 with carry 1 again in the last case 1 plus 1 gives you zero. sorry yeah gives you 0 with carry 1 and uh, 0 plus 1 gives you 1 so there is sum 1 and carry also equal to 1 now we got our sum and also the carry output so the next step is to make uh, 8 variable k map why 8 variable k map because there are 3 variables involved and uh, 2 to the power 3 gives you 8 so there are total 8 cells k map so this is our 8 cell k map we will write first the msb which is a then b and then lsb ci this is your 0 0 0 1 1 1 one zero zero one and uh, let me copy this k map because we are going to need this k map or the k map like this exactly when we are solving the what carry output so let's copy it down and now we'll move to fill up this map so let's fill it down it is for some and this k map is for the carry output so 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 now you can see here that a very interesting pattern is appeared why it is interesting because uh, you will find that you cannot group any of the ones together this one cannot be grouped with any of the ones similarly this one this one and this one and this particular pattern we call as checkboard configuration checkboard configuration and it is something I have explained you when we were uh, in the lecture of your parity checkers okay so this is the checkboard configuration and uh, if you studied that lecture then you might be knowing the result without solving this thing so let me write it down directly the sum is equal to a XOR B XOR C I so you have to remember one thing in the checkboard configuration is that whenever it appears the output the sum is equal to the XOR combination of the all inputs for example if we were having the four inputs A B C D then the sum should be what A XOR so S, S should be what it is not the sum S is any function S is equal to A XOR B XOR C XOR D so you have to just take the XOR operation of the given inputs in case of checkboard configuration now we are going to find out what is the value of C naught or C output by using this K map so let's fill it down 0 0 0 1 so 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 1 so 0 1 1 and 1 so we don't have any checkboard configuration in this case so let's make the groups the first group that I will make is the group of these two ones then this is our second group and this one is our last group this is the simplest thing that anyone will do with, with this particular K map but there is a twist that we will see after this after, after finding the values of this particular implicants so C output is what from the first group we are going to get B C I B C I or from the second group we are going to get A and uh, C I is changing from 1 to 0 so it will be 1 and B is same and it is 1 so A B 
similarly from the third group we are having a and uh, c i so this is what we are going to get if i just directly solve this k map but there is one way also this c out is written in many books is that a b or c i a x or b you will find this thing very very common in many books so if i ask you to find this function by using this k map it will be very difficult for you you will just try time and time and you are not going to get this function why because you will try to follow the procedure that we used to do in the k map that is we will try to combine the greatest possible group of ones but if you want to get this function you have to just leave that particular leave that particular procedure of the k map and do what i am doing right now just fill it so it is your zero let's do this with different color this is a zero zero one zero zero one 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 now i will make the group of these two ones okay and i will keep this one alone and this one too so what i did i didn't combine these two one with any of the other ones i kept i kept them alone and uh, let's see what we are get, getting by doing that i'm having a b from this group definitely like we got in this case and uh, a b complement c i from this one this is a b complement and c i similarly from this one i'm going to get a complement b c i so a complement a complement b c i the next thing i can do is to take something common from this two terms so i think i'm getting c i as common so c i is common and inside the bracket i'm having a b bar a bar b and i think we are having our result that is a x or b the same thing that i have written here so this is how the carry output is represented by using these two ways in the k map so at the end of this presentation we are having our sum as a xor b xor c i and having our carry output and it is very easy for you to implement this as a circuit i'm not going to do that part you can definitely take a two input xor gate and if you are taking the two input xor gate you are going to have the two such type of gates or you can use directly a three input xor gate your a will be here your b will be here this is your a xor b and in this gate one of the input is your c input so that sum is here and you are having it is a xor b xor ci similarly you can implement the carry output this is something you can do it by yourself so in the next presentation we will do another part of your uh, arithmetic circuit so see you in the next one